On this week's episode of the wonderful Flathead V8, I'd like to talk about crankcase ventilation, or the lack of. Are they, um, all, all motors, they have what was called the road draft tube, the front of the sump here. Some engines don't have it, like the Bren gun carrier engines, I'll show in a minute, don't have it, but the air is pulled in this thing here, and I think there's a slit in it, they call it the road draft tube, and then, stand this motor up again, the air is pulled in there, comes around here, down into the valley and through the holes in the drains into the crankcase and then there's a steel tube here where it comes out and then through the vent in the top of the fuel pump tower and then when the engine got hot it acted like, like a chimney because when you park the smoke's coming over out there and if you put your hand over the vent there it stops so the just sort of sucks it through but it also pulls in a lot of dust and stuff into the engine and I don't think that's very good. This gasket nearly fully blocks that tube anyway, so I don't know. These aftermarket gaskets, I don't know about, but they should be cut out around there. It also seems the trucks have a really elaborate oil separator system and this, this is the tube which goes into the engine block through here. The car ones just seem to be hollow, so that goes in there. And that goes down inside there, and your fuel pump pushrod tube goes through there. And then the pump bolts onto there. And the worst bit about the road draft tube is you've got the stink. It really reeks coming out here and blowing into there, into the cab. It's not nice. Some people put a garden hose on it, have it coming out the back by the exhaust. On a Bren gun sump, there's nothing because they have a positive crankcase ventilation system. These are some of the different positive crankcase ventilation systems I've come across. Like, um, we see on the manifold, there's a boss here, and I've seen some of them are drilled to take this one. There's a, um, a ball valve in there, and then this bit screws into there, and th so that's in there, like that. And I've seen a couple of engines with that one, and also this one too I've come across. There's this plate here, it's got the valve in there, it's got like a spring disc valve thing. And that would clamp onto there and you'd have longer studs, and then possibly that would go into there as well. And then this one too, there's another fitting here for the vacuum brake on the distributor, and there's a banjo fitting which would go onto here, and then that's got a disc valve in it too. And this one, I think, it ran from here to here, and also to the front here. And that, uh, possibly that's the Bren gun one, I'm not 100% sure, but I am going to try and use this system on my motor. I'll, I'll just run it to, I think, here, and see how it goes. But, oh yeah, this valve, the disc has collapsed, so I'll fit a modern off a Japanese car or something, I'll use the PCB valve. Actually, when I think about it, this is actually from a governor. Um, this, there was a second set of butterflies which were vacuum controlled, and this was part of the system of some kind of industrial engine. Somebody could tell me what these two bosses are. I'd be keen to know. I've, I had a manifold and they're actually drilled out and plugged, but I'm not sure what they're for.